officially August 13th and I'm <sighs> I scared myself guys but I'm getting ready because I'm going to a museum today and then out to eat and I'll vlog the whole thing but right now like I'm in the process of getting ready I just did my hair it is so cute it turned out just like the picture just like how I wanted it and I was actually shocked that I could do it <laughs> girl know how to do her hair okay anyway so I did my hair and I have an outfit on which I'll show you the full thing in a minute right now I'm gonna like pretty much eat um because I just woke up and it's like 11:48 right now so I'm gonna eat something and then finish getting ready um so yeah I'm just heating up like these breakfast burritos and then I'm gonna eat it and then finish getting ready. And then I'll show y'all the finished look. But we don't have to be there until three, I think. Yeah, I think it's at three that I'm supposed to be there. I have to confirm it with my friend Leslie because she's the one that planned everything and all that. So. Yeah, I had to look through the messages again. If it doesn't say, then I'll call her and ask. But I think it's at 3. So, yeah. I have to be ready by then. Right now, I'm in the process of getting ready. So, yeah. But I'm pretty much done with the outfit. I just have to do my makeup. So, yeah. But stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys. So, I just got done with my makeup. I still need to apply my lashes. But my lashes just came in through the mail. So, I wanted to, like, open them with you. This is my first time opening it, and I just wanted us to like look at them together. I ordered them online from this like small little business, I believe. I saw them through TikTok, and I was like, I saw like this girl, and I was like, oh my gosh, her lashes are so cute. And then I think she runs the business, and um, I ended up ordering me some. I was about to say, you can't even tell the glitter is on there. But, um, this is like her little, like, business card. And she sells lashes with glitter on them. Um, but I ordered some pink ones. They have, like, pink glitter. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. But you could kind of see it. So I ordered those. They were actually $8. They're on sale right now. And then I ordered like these silver ones, which I'm wearing these today. It only has like two, like four strands of glitter. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm wearing these today. And then another day I'm going to wear these. But yeah, I ordered these to go on my outfit. And look how cute like the boxes are. The boxes are so cute. But yeah, I wanted to open these up with y'all so y'all can see them too. But I think they're cute and I'm so excited, guys. And I also want to show you my outfit. So give me a sec so I can show you. So guys, um, I have my miniature earrings again on today. And I did my makeup already. I just need the lashes. And I did my hair too. I'm actually really happy with my hair. It came out just like the model that wears this outfit so I'm really happy how it turned out and then this is like a vest top and this is what I'm wearing along with like some shorts that need to be pulled down and so I'm wearing it with some shorts and it has like these little like glittery bottoms underneath the shorts or like it's attached to the shorts and then some shoes y'all see the shoes so yeah, that's my outfit, and I'm just gonna put on the lashes, and I should be good to go, guys. And right now it's currently one o'clock, and the place it's supposed to be, um, our reservations are at three. So yeah, I'm almost done. I 
I'm officially done getting ready. Oh my gosh, do y'all see these lashes? They are just so gorgeous. I'm actually going to add the link in the description box of where you can find these lashes. So, yeah. Definitely check these out. These are actually on sale for $8. And they're so cute. They have glitter. They're like really pretty. I'm going to show y'all again what I look like from the distance. Oh, she cute. She a baddie. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all those amazing things, and continue watching. So right now I am with my best friend and her boyfriend, Leslie and Anwar, and we are driving up to the museum, which you could kind of see it from the distance, but it's called Meow Wolf. Here we are standing in line waiting to scan our tickets to get in, and until then, Leslie's just taking some videos. So this museum has many locations, but it just opened here in Texas in the Grapevine Mall, so if you're here in Texas, you should definitely check it out. Um, this is like the little gift shop that we're walking past. You could shop before or after, but I recommend after. Um, so it's actually pretty big. And right here, we're walking towards the entrance that leads to the museum. Um, it's already cool as it is, just, you know, seeing the visuals right now. But here we are walking down this hallway. And right now, you'll pretty much see me walking down. Um, leading to the first room where the guy speaks about the museum and pretty much the rules and the scavenger hunt type of thing that they have inside. Um, and then here we're actually getting started. Oh, and also you could purchase some 3D glasses, which we didn't because they're $10 each. So it was a lot and the tickets were $50 each. So pretty expensive. But if you got the money for it, go for it. But this is the first room that led to the museum. It's pretty much a house inside of a museum. Isn't that weird? Um, they fit a house inside the museum. And then it had like um, cool lights, like a real house pretty much, like a front yard with the lights and a porch and all that. So it was definitely pretty cool and realistic, it looked like. So this is located outside the house. There's like a cloud and a monster inside of it. At least that's what we called it was a monster. And it just looked really weird. We actually didn't know exactly what it was. And behind these doors, it leads to like another room. So we saw people just coming out of there. And I decided to take a sneak peek inside. And this is what was inside. There was like this weird little alien thing stuck on the wall. And I am not sure what it is. Um, later throughout this whole, like, tour, we found out that we think it's based off of, like, a show. We're just not sure what show it's based off of. But there was this cool little room with also a hole in the wall. Next, we went into the refrigerator room, which is kind of like the middle room. It divides pretty much into different rooms. That's what all the refrigerator doors are for because it leads to another room. But this is kind of where everybody ends up at um, either before they enter a room or even after they have exited a room. They end up right back here. So... As you can tell, we're just taking a look around. There's so many doors. Um, there is no entrance or exit at the doors at the very, very top, just at the bottom. And here we are entering like a Mars type of themed room. It looks like it could be like Nevada or like um, Arizona. That's the vibes that I was giving. But it was very, like, desert-like, and it was really actually cute. I actually really enjoyed the vibe. It was really cute. It looked kind of like a trailer theme right here with, obviously, the desert-looking rocks and sandy and the lights. So, um, we just took a look around, and here is the, like, 
it looks like it's clues and like pictures and stuff like that of whatever the scavenger hunt was which i am still not sure because i did not follow along with the scavenger hunt but i didn't know about it i just didn't know like well i just didn't play along i was just there for i guess just to see what the museum was all about but like i said i think this is based off of a show so i'm not sure if y'all paid attention but there was like doors that led to like outside the trailer so that's where i'm at here and you can see the outside of the trailer along with like some cushions where you can sit down and they kind of look like rocks and obviously as you see those people exiting they're going back to the refrigerator room like i said everybody ends up right back in that area so here we are again back in the refrigerator room and these are the top doors I was telling you about where you cannot enter or exit out of those doors because they're way at the top like you would end up falling you know. So the only doors you could go through and exit out of is the bottom doors and here I am going into this blue room and then um, I just kind of filmed just a little bit. It looks like it was an ice cream room, as you saw, like it had popsicles on the wall. But it looks like there was really nothing else in that room besides just that. And here's this room. Actually, you can't go inside of it, but it has like a little alien looking bug. It was like a bug. And it played like disco music. And as you can see, that's where all the disco lights and flashing lights happen because it starts playing music. So it turns into like a little dance party club. And then right here we are in another room with a little spaceman it looks like. He's in a suit. And it has like almost like a little gift shop it looks like where there's like stuff inside of the little cases. Like almost like a store. That's what it's kind of giving. And we kept pressing on those buttons and the buttons do not work. They don't really do anything. I just assumed that they mess with the lights inside the little cases but... I don't really think they actually do anything. I think they're just kid friendly if a kid wants to press a button because obviously you know kids like to touch things. So I think they just put that there for like kids who just want to touch something. So it's very kid friendly. And here's another case and they have a little video for the scavenger hunt. If you're wanting to follow the scavenger hunt which I was not once again. Um, and here we are back inside of the refrigerator room. It looks like we're about to go into another room and it looks like it's all white as soon as you walk in. Sorry, my camera started like doing something weird. That's why you see these weird lines. I am not sure what is going on. Eventually the lines do go away. Maybe it was because of the lighting inside that room. I'm not sure, but my camera started acting weird. So I don't know. But here we are in another room. It's actually inside of the house. Remember the house that was shown in the beginning of the video? Well, we're actually inside that house now. And this is the little kitchen area. It is so cute. And here's people just like surrounded everywhere. Here's the missing child that everybody's trying to find. Because that's a part of the scavenger hunt. And you know what? This child is not real, guys. So don't freak out. The child is not really missing. It's just a part of a scavenger hunt. So don't freak out. But yes, they have like the missing posters everywhere. So this is like in a way supposed to be the kid's home or whatever. And like everyone's supposed to investigate and find out what happened to this child, I think. I don't know too much about the scavenger hunt, but that's what... I came up with you know as I kept like looking around throughout this whole museum was that people were trying to find out what happened to the kid um, I'm not sure if anyone ever found out what happened but I don't know it's a mystery but here we are in like a dining room it looks like and the computer also had like I think videos and stuff for like people to find out what happened to the child and there was also some papers on the table that you just seen and that's also a part of the scavenger hunt. Um, it's, you know, missing things from the kid and all that. And I'm just showing you pretty much the whole dining room area. Here I am zooming in on, like, a card that the kid had made with his missing poster. And, like, I'm guessing that's, like, his drawing book. At first, from the distance, it kind of looked like a yearbook, but no. 
And here we are in the living room. The living room actually looks like a realistic living room. It was so cool. And on the TV, you can see, like, they're not real, guys. Trust me. It's just pictures of, like, the little boy and his mom and his family. And it's a part of the scavenger hunt. And the little, like, fireplace turns into, like, a little, like, passageway. And so we went in there, and it leads to, like, this neon room. As you can see, like, everything is neon in there. It was, like, super cool. I actually took pictures in there because... I just love like neon rooms and like neon stuff. I just think I've always actually been into that. So I think it's just really cool. But it looks like it's like branches and like trees. I think that was the vibe it was giving. And but they're just neon. That's the only difference. <laughs> and so we definitely got to check it out. We recorded. Me and Lizzie were actually trying not to run into a mirror because, you know, the reflection of ourselves. So we were a little scared of running into a mirror, you know, thinking that was a passageway, but it's not. So if you ever check this out, you'll know what I mean. As you can see, there's a mirror right there. So here we are back outside the house and I actually don't know how we ended up outside the house. We just like opened up a passageway and ended up back outside. But here I am going back inside the house through the front door and I ended up in like this piano room and stuff and obviously there's where we went through and there's an upstairs as you can see. And right there, there wasn't really nothing like and it leads to anything. It's just like a closet room underneath the stairs. But yeah, um, it looks like I end up walking to the kitchen again. You know, I guess to give you the full view of the kitchen, it looks like I'm just wandering around at this point, guys. I'm going to be honest. But here we are. We're back in the kitchen, guys. And here's this other room, and it looks like a room that we haven't been in. So, yeah. And here is the upstairs. I'm already upstairs, and I'm just showing y'all, like, some of the rooms. I'm pretty sure I missed some of them because this, like, house is so freaking big, and there's so many rooms that I feel like I missed a lot. But here I am going through the upstairs, um, in this room, there's a lot of people in there, so I just decided not to, like, enter. This one looks like it's a room where laundry goes in there. <laughs> like a laundry room. And, as you can tell, a lot of these rooms are full. But, um, this room is, like, a basic room, like anyone else's room. Uh, I think those are more clues to the scavenger hunt. And, look, the room has, like, another room. So it looks like it led to something else. And it was very, like, neon. Oh, and I found Leslie and Anwar because I eventually lost them. So I was walking by myself. Because I'm telling you, this house is so big. It's no lie. It's easy to lose your child or, like, a friend or a significant other. So it's best to stay all together, guys. Because it could get pretty, um, pretty crazy with all the rooms. So... And also all the people because there's so many people. And here's another room that we entered. And I'm telling you, these rooms look so realistic. They have, like, furniture that's real. Because trust me, I sat on these chairs. So I know it's real. And um, as you can tell, this room also leads to another passageway. That's what I kind of showed y'all. It's just people were exiting out of there so I couldn't, like, stay in there. And here we are going through... This other room that's like neon lights. There was like a piano there. As you saw, like someone was trying to play the piano. Um, so it was a real piano. And then it ends up to another room. As you could tell, it's already getting confusing. There's just so much to see. And it had like these cool designs in there. Very like bright and just really cool if you're into that. And then there's like this hallway passageway with all these cool walls and designs. I know it could be very like hypnotizing over here. And it looks like there's origami on the ceiling. If y'all know what origami is. Um, and it leads to like 
I don't know how to explain it, like a tree house. And at the bottom, it's like the regular ground. But it looks like we're like in a tree house now. So you see how like big this house is, you know, like it's just crazy. So here I am just showing you the full view. I know it's a lot to take in because it was a lot for me to take in too. And yes, as you can see, there's like that little tree house entrance. There was so many people trying to go in there, so I never went in there. And plus, I don't like to like duck down inside of things. I'm going to be honest, guys, because I don't like to hurt my back, you know. So I did not try to do that. And here I am just filming and walking around, showing y'all all the little details that I caught of the whole place. And here I went to this other little room that was inside of there. And it had like a little triangle thing. And it was made out of glass so you can see everybody from down below. It's just my camera wasn't good to like show y'all. But if you like actually look with your real eyes, you can see like people down there at the bottom. And so we got to check this room out. And then we ended up going down but I could not go down with, like, Leslie and Anwar because um, I was afraid of falling. There was no ramp and I had heels on. So I had to go a different direction where there was a ramp. But I did make it to the bottom and I ended up losing them. And I was lost because, you know, there's so much down there that it just makes you lost. And that was definitely me. By the way, do not take any of the elevators because those are off limits and they would tell you that at the beginning before you even enter this museum to not use any of the elevators and here's this other room which i did not go into an arcade room like there was just so many rooms guys it's just crazy and there's just so much to see like you need hours in there so make sure you eat like a good dinner or lunch before you even go here because there's just so much to see and you're gonna spend hours here and then here's like another red hallway <laughs> i'm telling you i was like lost i could not find them eventually i ended up like somewhere at the bottom and eventually i did find them but there they are <laughs> but for a while i was pretty by myself lost and then here we are in this other room this one's actually pretty cool too like i said a lot of this seems like it's neon like neon lights and it was just like really cool and stuff and these walls, I just really love this wall. I think it's really pretty. But here we are. And I think Leslie was taking some videos. And I think that's why I kept standing around, like, just filming the walls. <laughs> so here's another hallway. And it leads to this other, like, room. But guys, like I said, don't even go out through those emergency doors. That is off limits. It's not a part of the museum. So don't touch. <laughs> Here we are going right back to the refrigerator room. Like I said, you'll end up right back there. Then we ended up in another room, which it was really cool. I actually like that little like sculpture I just showed y'all with the water or whatever pouring into the cup. It was so cool. Then we ended up entering another room and it looks like the dryer had like a little slide that you could go down which I never went down because like I said I don't like to get into snug places and have trouble getting out. Um, it's just me guys like I just don't like to do that. Um, I don't like to hurt myself or like be in pain afterwards so I just prefer to stay away. But Anwar and Leslie definitely tried it out. And I'm just showing y'all the top of the ceiling, all the origami with all the lights and stuff. I just wanted to show y'all that. And then here's Anwar coming out. See, he had to come out crawling. So we already got done with the museum and decided to head to dinner at 7.15 at this restaurant that I booked. And as you can tell, it's very upscale. And here I'm just showing y'all the menu in case y'all ever want to try it out. If y'all ever come to Dallas or live in Dallas, it's very upscale once again. And here is my drink. And here's Leslie's drink. So yeah. We're in the restaurant. 
restroom area. The mirror. I thought there was a bug on me, I was freaking out. So then our food came out and here I am just showing y'all our plates. We just got pasta and here's my dessert. Should I make a wish? Yeah. Okay, let me think about it first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, I have to see the baby. Uh, <laughs> 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 and then that's the dessert hey guys so i am back from my little like day from with my friend leslie we went to a museum and we went out to eat and she got me a gift in the box it is so cute it's filled with like butterflies and it's purple which is like my favorite color and it's just like so cute it has really cute butterflies and she like decorated really cute but i actually haven't seen what's inside yet so we're gonna look at it together and i'm super excited guys because she decorated it so cute and you can just like tell that she put a lot of effort into it this is another box and she said there's something inside and like i said i haven't looked at anything by the way um usually in my original videos i always open gifts like later on after i'm done filming my vlogs but instead this time i'm opening my gifts along with the vlogs so here is leslie's gift to me this one is so cute guys i do you not see that it has my name on it and it's pink it's so cute oh i'm not gonna show y'all this picture <laughs> it's just a crazy picture i do not want to show y'all that picture I do not, no, no, not going to, so it looks like she got me some shoes, so mostly what I asked for was like clothes, right, because I'm going to be starting a career where I need clothes, so she ended up giving me shoes. And these are the shoes. I mostly asked her to order me things from like Sheen. So yeah. These look like ones that I asked for, for sure. It actually doesn't say the size, so I don't know what size they are. But yeah, these are the shoes. They are so cute. They look like everyday shoes. That's what they look like to me. Oh, they're, they're actually pretty comfortable. A little snug, but they're Okay, I wouldn't know until I start walking in them to actually know if they fit. Because they don't have the size in here. So I don't really know what size it is. Yeah. I just done it. But the shoes are really cute. Not gonna lie. Alright, so now we're gonna move on to what's inside the box. It looks like things are wrapped up. I'm so nervous, guys. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is really cute. This is super, super duper cute. I've always wanted, like, a shirt like this. I think I wanted a shirt like this years ago. And it was probably two years ago. And it was $100. And I kept saying, should I get it? And she was like, girl, find it cheaper somewhere else. And so I never bought it. But it was a hundred dollars, so I understand. But it looked kind of like this. So she got me this top, and then she also got me something else, which we're gonna find out what it is. Okay, it comes with like a little button, an extra button. Okay, this is one of the shirts I asked for. It's a work short, shorts, a work shirt. And this is what it looks like. It's very 70s vibe, but it's so cute. It's from Sheen. Yeah. So these are, th 
the outfits. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Oh, there it is. It's underneath this beautiful wrapping paper. Sorry, I have to show off the wrapping paper. It was so cute. Oh. So now I have a vegan mask. This is my vegan mask right here for the face. So I'm going to put that to the side. It looks like there's more clothes. I love how this is all set up, guys. I'm not going to lie. She did like a really good job at setting everything up. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cute. It's from Shane as well. I love these work shirts, guys. Like, it makes me so excited. Alright, and then we have another one in here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. I got a green. A green top. This is so cute. Another work shirt, guys. And it it's so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It is adorable. So these are all my work shirts. And like I said, I'm going to be using them for my job that I'm getting into. Super excited about that. I love this wrapping paper. Again, Leslie, if you're watching this, I love this wrapping paper. It is so cute. And these shoes, it still doesn't say what size they are, but... I'm going to figure it out. But yeah. But anyways, I definitely love all my gifts. They are so cute. So I'm not going to lie. So cute. I actually don't remember where this button goes with. Which one? But anyways. Yeah. I love all my gifts because I definitely want to wear clothes. And that's what I got, guys. Oof. I thought a butterfly half fell off. But yeah. I definitely want to thank Leslie for... An amazing day today I know it was a little rough because my little like personal situation that was happening but other than that it was a great day I love spending time with you you know I love you being my friend and stuff I really appreciate our friendship and things like that and I really love the gift that you got me and it was really cute and girl I'm gonna be honest with you my feet are swollen right now if you're watching this um, those heels did not do me justice today. They actually made my feet swell up, so I'm gonna have to prompt up my foot on a pillow because they're swollen. My mom literally said they look like sausages right now, so, um, I guess just blood is not circulating right now, so I'm gonna have to prompt it up to make sure blood is circulating all over my body, but, yeah. Anyways, I do want to thank her, and I want to thank her for spending time with me on my birthday, and also her boyfriend for coming along, too, and spending, like, an enjoyable day, and also paying for my dinner. Like, thank y'all just, like, so much for being a part of it. I love both of you. Alright, well, that's the end of this day with them. But stay tuned, guys, because there's more to my birthday vlog. So, guys, I just showed you my birthday gift from Leslie, and... I forgot to show y'all what I actually got from the museum as like my souvenir. As you can tell, I actually bought a souvenir. So what I actually bought from there was a shirt. Because I always like to buy a shirt to every museum that I go to. And this was just one of them. This is actually... Oh, this is the back. This is what the back looks like. And this is the front. It's like neon vibes. Really cute. It's like basic but cute at the same time. I don't know. That's just how I view it. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got from the museum. And I also bought me like a charger because my phone started dying whenever I was out there. But yeah. But that's the end of that. And again, I really enjoyed my day with Leslie and Anwar. But yeah, stay tuned guys because there's more coming. Bye.